Hello. This Brawl Talk was amazing. This update is going to be amazing. You guys, this has to be one of the most interesting updates as well as the most content packed inside of an update that we've had in a very, very long time. We have two new brawlers, eight new skins, a new environment, changes to existing environments in the game already, a brand new challenge being implemented, and gadgets for 35 different brawlers. So I think we're pretty well off for new and exciting features here inside of Brawl Stars. Hope you guys are all excited. Also, you guys, with all this hype stuff coming around the corner, you bet your butt we're gonna be getting a lot of sneak peeks coming here very, very soon within the next couple days. So make sure to stay tuned to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below. Stay notified. I would love to see you guys watching the videos and hearing what you guys gotta say about the cool stuff coming out. So first, everyone, starting off with the highly anticipated gadgets coming out in this next update there's a few things that we got to get out of the way in regards to general information before we hop into the interesting stuff such as the 11 different brawlers leaked inside of the brawl talk and what their gadgets actually do as well as what the icon will look like and how many times you can use them in games so first important thing to know about the gadgets is that we unlock them at power level 7 on all the different brawlers in the game this is exactly what we were asking for we don't necessarily now have to be maxed out in order to taste that more in-depth gameplay that Brawl Stars can offer. You only have to be power level seven. Second thing is that we can unlock these out of Brawl Boxes as well as in your shop, whether that be special shop offers or just your daily shop that recycles every single day. The third thing is that gadgets are gonna be a little bit more common than star powers in the game when opening them up out of Brawl Boxes. And I believe that's gonna to translate to how much they're going to be worth in the shop as well in terms of how much it costs coin-wise, maybe like a thousand or 1,500 coins as opposed to 2,000 for the star powers. And lastly, the fourth thing that you should know about gadgets is that you have a limited amount of times you can use them inside of the game, and we know exactly how many times you can use them. I don't know if the dev team meant to put this in the Brawl Talk, but we know the exact number and how the icon looks, so let's get into that. As you can see during the Brawl Ball gameplay while they're explaining how the new underdog mechanic is going to work, right underneath their face cam, you can see about a third of the gadget's icon, and literally from that third, we can take away everything we need to know about it. So first things first, it looks like we have a maximum usage of the gadget's ability three different times during a match. And as they were explaining before, once you use all three of them in that given game, you can't use them again. Now I'm assuming maybe sometime down the road, we'll see maybe a star power that will give you an ability to regenerate that gadget ability. But as for right now, I'm assuming that it's only gonna be a maximum of three. Another thing that we can take away from the gameplay is how you use it. So it's not gonna be much like the joysticks, like the attack in the movement joysticks. It's just gonna be a button that you press to activate the gadget ability. As you can see during some of the gameplay, they'll hit it when they activate it, and then there's a slow refresh rate as well as the icon switches to two from three. I'm so happy they did that. I feel like I couldn't handle another joystick on the right side. This way, it's just gonna be super easy. Hit the button and you have that given ability. Really cool. And now guys, it's time to get on our detective glasses so we can break down the 11 different gadget abilities that they sneak peeked inside of the Brawl Talk. I guess there's 12 because of Jackie's that they had in the Brawl Ball gameplay, but you guys catch my drift. Let's get into it. So the first thing that we should know is that when you activate your gadget, there's gonna be a little silhouette underneath your character for the duration that your gadget is performing its ability. And the silhouette is just what the actual gadget looks like when you would unlock it out of a brawl box and stuff like that. So breaking down the 12 gadgets that were given to us in the brawl talk, the very first one is Brock. So it appears when he activates his gadget, he drops down an explosion that causes him to jump with invulnerability, much like Dynamite's first star power. But the distance is very much so comparable to Dynamite's super when he drops it down. So pretty basic, but I feel like it's gonna help him out a lot to get out of those sticky situations. The next Next one is Dynamite, and this one looks freaking crazy and hilarious at the same time. This man, once you activate the gadget, he starts spinning around in a circle, hucking out tons of dynamikes that land in just various areas around him. So this is definitely gonna be good for him if like a mortise is pressuring in on him. You hit that, activate that gadget, keep him away from you, hopefully defend yourself because it's difficult to get out of those situations. Now the only thing that I'm a little bit worried about is how much do those dynamites do? Is it the same as a normal dynamite stick when he drops down his basic attack? If so, that's quite a bit of damage if you ask me, but still it'll help him out a lot. The next one is Rico and his gadget is he launches off eight different bouncy balls, starting 
starting from his character that move outwards, which also bounce. So it appears that he like may open up his stomach where he keeps all those bouncy balls and lets them loose. And it looks like it goes for two different volleys. So it does one and then two shortly after. So getting you out of a sticky situation, I would love to see that on top of like a high save. Get there, hit that um, gadget ability. And because the cooldown rate isn't super slow, you might be able to get off like all three on that safe if no one's pressuring you. So cool. Moving along to Spike and his gadget is much like Rico's where he fires off a bunch of spikes starting from his character. However, he shoots off 10. So two more than Rico. However, Rico has bouncy balls as well as does a little bit more damage. Spike does 520. Rico's does 640. And it appears that he only shoots off two different volleys, but it gets cut off. Next is Gene and his gadget seems to be a little bit more on the simple side of things. But what he does is he launches off this pulse starting from his character. Anyone that's close will get pushed back. And it seems to be actually really good for him because it puts him at the perfect distance where his basic attack will hit them. So keeping those shotgunners away from you seems good. Next, moving along to El Primo's. And this one, I got to be honest with you, was really freaking hard to see. But what he does is once you get right on top of someone, or I'm assuming once that circle radius is meeting their circle radius underneath your character, you hit your ability and he tosses them over his head behind him. So I could see this being really functional inside a Brawl Ball where someone is right in front of you trying to be a goal block. You can hit that ability, throw them behind you, and then kick it in. And it may just be useful in like really close 1v1s, but we'll have to see. So Max's is next, and her ability that was sneak peek during the Brawl Talk was incredibly brief, but what we see from the gameplay is that she dashes really, really quickly to a specific location. It cuts off before it ends, so we can't see a real distance of how far it goes, but it just increases her speed and mobility, which is awesome. Moving along to Pennies, and what it does is when you activate it, your mortar that you have placed down anywhere on the map is going to self-destruct. So if you have the first star power activated, you would also get the cannonballs as well. And I'm assuming it's going to do an area effect damage. So if someone's actually in that radius, they'll take damage, almost like a detonation mine of some sort, as well as it clears obstacles. Now, Carl's, I'm honestly stumped with. You can obviously see what it does when he activates it. He places down two different incendiary circles on the ground. And it's only two because, as you can see, the outline underneath his character has stopped, so his um, gadget ability is over after two. So I don't know what that does, <laughs> but I guess we'll have to see and find out. Is it just gonna be an incendiary tile? I'm not sure. <laughs> now, I'm really hyped up about this one. This is 8-bit's gadget ability. His is incredibly cool because it helps correct a very fundamental problem with 8-bit, and that is his mobility. So what it does is when you activate it, wherever your station is on the map, I'm assuming you teleport to it and destroy your turret. So it's at the cost of destroying your damage increase but you can get away from a sticky situation and I don't know if it's going to be like completely like if there's going to be a range to it because I could see that be incredibly broken where you place your turret in the enemy spawn and gem grab and you use that to get him back I'm not sure and it would be really useful in showdown to get away from a bad spot I like this one a lot it's really cool oh baby it's time for the creature of the night's gadget ability what he does is he spins around in a circle hitting everyone in that radius dealing 1,300 damage and healing himself up 1,800. Now, a really important thing to take away from this is that you don't get super back from any um, gadget ability that deals damage. So, kind of unfortunate there, but really helpful for Mortis. Also, another thing to point out is I don't know if he got that 1,800 healing just from hitting, because of hitting all three of them, or if he gets that much healing from one. Maybe it stacks. If you have like two in the radius, it'll be less healing or one. I'm not sure moving forward. Really hyped up. Make sure to let me know what you guys are thinking about the gadgets and uh, what you think the gameplay will be like with it. I'm so incredibly pumped up about it. Next, moving along to the new brawler that's coming in the month of March, and that is the brawler that was depicted on the thumbnail of the brawl talk that you guys just got done seeing. Her name is Jackie, and she's going to be a brand new super rare inside the game. Guys, we guessed it right. Super hyped about that. She has some really compelling mechanics to her character that are completely foreign to brawl stars that I'm really excited to share with you all. So the very first thing that I want to bring up is her basic attack, and that is she 
pounds the ground with her jackhammer and she deals damage in like a three or four tile radius, something like that. She has really short distance to her basic attack, but incredibly high DPS within that radius. She deals 1,840 damage in most circumstances. There's a really odd feature with her basic attack that I see from the gameplay of Jackie is that she deals that 1,840 a lot of the time, but then sometimes she'll deal less damage. So for example, with the gameplay on Bounty, she was dealing 1,840 damage to the Carl, but only 1,420 to the 8-bit. They were both in the same radius, and I don't think that's the cause for it either, because during some Brawl Ball gameplay against Max, she was only doing 1,300 damage to her. So I'm not sure what that mechanic is. I don't know what's causing that at all. Maybe she just has with her basic attack. She can sometimes deal a little bit less damage with her basic attack. I'm not sure, but but either way, I guess we'll find out in the near future. You guys should let me know what you're thinking about what the cause of that is. So around the corner to her super, and I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of Jackie's super. It is completely new to Brawl Stars. It's a brand new mechanic that we haven't seen yet inside the game. And what it is, is she pulls in people from like a five tile radius, something a little bit bigger than her basic attack, and pulls them in towards her so that they'll be within distance of her basic attack. So definitely really good for her character. And also also, while she's using her super to pull them in, she gets a shield during that duration, which is almost 50%. Now, as for her health, she has a grand total of 7,700 hit points, which is pretty dang tanky. That's even more tanky than a bull. It's getting up there close to an El Primo, so definitely another tank in the game. And the final thing that I want to bring up about Jackie is that she has pretty decent movement speed. She looks like she's trucking almost close to like a Sandy or a Crow, if not that same exact speed. Definitely faster than the tankier units in the game, which already have a higher base movement speed than most of the other brawlers in Brawl Stars. And you guys already know what her gadget ability does. She gets an increased boost of speed to get closer to her opponents to use her basic attack more effectively. Now, the next question is, what do you guys think the star power is i'm not totally sure make sure to let me know what you guys think from the gameplay that you saw in the brawl talk hello oh baby that was cute guys it's time to break down the next brawler which we will be getting in the month of april now we don't have a name for this brawler quite yet wasn't given in the brawl talk but from the brief gameplay that we saw from this brawler we can kind of break down on what it's going to do inside the game now first things first i want to point out that if i were a betting man i would assume this brawler is going to be a legendary the two rarities that i would assume new brawlers to fit into would be a rare as well as a legendary and some of the mechanics that this brawler can use is definitely legendary tier. So the first thing I'd like to bring up about this little robot, guys, I'm assuming this fits into the family of Rosa and B, where that is like their creation. So this little plant robot guy, because it is a robot and then a plant on the inside, but he's wearing like a sticky note with a face drawn on it. It's freaking hilarious. I love this brawler so much. Its health pool is sitting at 4,400, which is not super squishy, not the squishiest in the game, but definitely not super tanky. That's for dang sure. Its basic attack is it tosses out this ball of plants that hops once, so there's a little bit of a delay to the attack, but then it splashes into a radius uh, pretty similar to Spike's super radius, if I would say so. Now, in my opinion, what makes this brawler a legendary brawler is the super. Yes, a wall-creating super. When I first saw the character throw out the ball that turns into, like, these, like, viney things, I thought it was gonna be, like, a health area, so, like, you could throw it on your teammates and stuff like that. Kind of looked like like that um, but as you can see in the gameplay he tosses it down in the, like a conjunction of two walls so that the super then creates another wall so that people can't walk through it that is freaking awesome now there's a few questions that are left unanswered we don't know how long it lasts if it doesn't last the entire game um, or if you can destroy it i'm not sure how it works but it's really cool we have a wall building mechanic in the game definitely a legendary brawler not rare i'm telling you right now um we'll have to see i can't make <laughs> bad claims it could be a legendary i'm like 80 percent sure so next getting back to the month of march the next update content that we can expect and that is the new skins coming in march so of course as you all know daryl is getting a remodel in this next update it was leaked during the brawl stars championship it's not a crazy surprise at this point but as you can see we can see a little bit of gameplay coming from him so the remodel is looking good in my eyes he's definitely looking a bit different from the gameplay he is like bigger more defined his guns have a little bit more detail on them while you're playing in game and i know a lot of people had some 
choice words about the Daryl remodel. Some people didn't like it, some people loved it. Um, I'm really curious to seeing what you guys have to say from the gameplay that you're seeing right now about him. I'm okay with it. And then if a brawler is going to get remodeled, it's definitely going to get a new skin. So we have Mascot Daryl, and you'll see some skins coming in the future or later on in today's video, kind of revolving around soccer because there is a theme with the challenge that we'll be covering a little bit later in today's videos. So Daryl's literally a soccer ball. Freaking awesome. His guns are little like finger foam finger things <laughs> that he's holding in his hands. I love it so much. I love like comical skins like this that are kind of joking around a little bit. It's so funny. So something to point out about this Daryl skin is that he has some animation changes with his basic attack. He shoots out confetti out of his foam fingers. I freaking love it. This skin is amazing. I don't think there's anything different about the super, um, but the basic attack animation changes. That's awesome. And then moving along to the two new skins that we can purchase with Star Points. It's been a while since we've gotten a new skin for Star Points, so I'm really hyped up about that one. The very first one is College M's. I'm not sure what I think about this one. I don't see any noticeable animation changes with the basic attack. She doesn't use her super in the gameplay that we can see, so I don't think there's anything changing on that front. So it looks like a color um, remodel change. And then the other Star Point skin is Dark Bunny Penny. And I'm a big fan of this one. I like this one a lot. It is like the complete opposite of the Easter Bunny Penny skin, uh, much like we see with Jesse, where there's like a dark and a light with the Night Jesse and then Dragonite Jesse. Um, I'm liking these a lot. There's no noticeable changes to the animation either, um, but we don't get to see gameplay of the super shooting. The mortar is different. It's like an evil bunny mortar mortar. <laughs> um, but other than that can't see any animations and then the final skin that we're going to be getting in this update that costs gems or if you play your cards right you can get her for free is psg shelly and this is going to be a fantastic segue into the new challenge that's coming out in this update so the challenge that's coming around the corner is called the psg cup which is kind of formatted along the same lines as the championship challenge that we have in brawl stars already it's not going to be as many matches as the championship challenge so a bit easier to complete in my eyes there's only nine different different games you have to win without losing four different matches and then you obtain the skin um, but one thing that you got to keep in mind about this is it's going to be brawl ball only um, so it should be a lot of fun i've been really looking forward to little challenges like this in brawl stars that gets the community all riled up um, completing a challenge getting a reward i think that's awesome the next addition in this march update is actually pretty significant and that is removing a currency that we have in the game right now and that is tickets tickets are going to be completely wiped from the game in the next update i believe when ryan was telling what was happening with the tickets he was explaining that you can no longer get them in boxes you can't get them in the shop anymore with this update but then he says in the next update they're going to be removed so i'm assuming not in the march update they're going to be removed but in the update following so maybe there will be some reimbursement if you guys have a bunch of tickets saved up but if we don't get confirmation on that front for a reimbursement i would highly suggest you get on using those tickets in the month of march because i mean i know people that got like 5k tickets and you don't want to waste those those are a lot of brawl boxes that you can get from those tickets so use those up and then the final thing coming in the month of March, which we already covered in a previous video here in the channel, is the underdog mechanic placed in the game. So as you all know, when we explained it in that video, basically it's a way that helps you when you're queuing up into unfair matchmaking to get a little bit more leeway with the trophies that you lose as well as gain. So make sure to keep that in mind. And guys, the final bit of content confirmed in the Brawl Talk, which will be coming in the month of April. I know there's a bunch in this Brawl Talk is the three other skins coming in the month of April confirmed. We don't know if there's going to be more or what's going to be coming in April totally, um, but what we have now is Coach Mike Horace Bow is coming, as well as Tanuki Jesse. Hopefully I said that right, but it's really freaking cute on Jesse there, and I'm assuming there's going to be animation changes and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we can't see any gameplay in the Brawl Talk for the new skins coming in April in order to confirm if they have any animation changes or anything like that, but if I were a betting in, I would say every single one of them would have some animation changes. Horus Bow, I'm assuming like some light arrows. Dynamite's going to be throwing out like soccer balls for his sticks. <laughs> and then Jesse, I would assume maybe like 
maybe like a like an acorn or something out of that gun i'm not sure but i could see it so guys that is the long long rundown of all the content that we can expect in the next three months in the month of march in the month of april maybe not everything was given for the month of april as well as we know stuff's coming in may which is the gadgets i'm assuming it's going to be on the same type of release pattern as the second star powers that happened eight months ago maybe every single week we'll receive three new gadgets i'm not sure but it would make sense to see that stuff coming out in may still uh but yeah guys really really exciting a lot of stuff stuff coming and a lot of exciting stuff at that so let me know what you're most excited for that'd be awesome as well as if you are excited make sure to slap a like on it. i really appreciate that and with that being said make sure to keep having fun brawl stars and we'll see you in the next video peace out